ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕೇಸರೀ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಿ ರಾಮಾನುಜದಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಭೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಶೀರೊನೃತು ಪುಲ್ ತಿರುವೆಂಗಡ ಮುಡಯಾನ್ ಪಾರೊನ್ರಚೊನ್ನ ಪಳಮೊಳ್ಳು ಊರೊನ್ರು ತಾನೇ ಅಮಯಾದೋ ತಾರಣಿಯಲ್ ವಾಳ್ವಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾನೇರ ಪೋಮಳವಂ ವಾಳ್ವ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೇಜ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಯೋ ವೇದವೃಕ್ಷ ಬಹುಮೂಲ ಶಾಖ ನಾನಾ ಫಲಾರ್ಥಿ ದ್ವಿಜ ಸಂಘ ಸೇವ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ವಶ್ರವ ಅನುಶ್ರವ ಭೇದ ಭಿನ್ನ ಮಾರೋಪಯತ್ ತಂ ಪುರುಷಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಇತ್ಯಾಚ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಅಸಂಕರ ಸಂಗ್ರಹೇಣ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾತ್ವತೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಸಾ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಸಾತ್ವತ ನಾವ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ನ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾರ್ಥಸ್ಯ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾಂ ಬುದ್ಧಿಪೂರ್ವ ಉಪಪ್ಲವ ಬುದ್ಧಿಪೂರ್ವ ವಿದರ್ಗ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಬುದ್ಧಿಪೂರ್ವ ಉಪಪ್ಲವ ಆಚರ್ತವ್ಯ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆಡ್ ವಿದರ್ಗ ಆಚರ್ತವ್ಯ ಇಹ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಾತ್ ಪಾರಂಪರ್ಯ ಕ್ರಮ ವಿನ so this is the verse again a quote within inverted commas must be understood as so we will have a knowledge flood in our mind and it should be understood by our application of the intellect there are three types of actions one is brain which we say what we call physical part combined with the heart again a physical part will form a mind manas so manas has got lot of uh, what we call tidings and then we will have to think twice below before understanding perfectly and and in that context buddhi will help us our intellect will help us so ahankara will stop us manasa manaha buddhi ahankara manaha is the 11th sense organ in our physical frame and uh, ahankara will be the attitude sometimes it is also continuous in within births from one birth to another birth the ahankara continues egoism sense of possession we call it mamakara sense of possession we always say this object belongs to me and it it doesn't belong to you suppose we say everything belongs to everybody then we are broad minded people so mean minded people will say this is yours and this is mine that is mine there is a particular verse in sanskrit what is called subhashitam good saying it's a general pity p i t h y verse generally it is a, like an advice so we say we say 
ayam nijaha this object even say you can say this this friend belongs to me he is a closer friend he is not your friend so this friend is my my friend so ayam nijaha nijaha in sanskrit means own o w n whereas uh, when you use the word nijam in tamil that means the truth so that is different so uh, somehow the words have different meaning same words have different meaning in different languages and that may confuse a person who knows both languages so here so that's why i want to say this you would have heard about it uh, again uh, so, uh, sense of possession is mama sense of egoism and you can also add attribute that is be synonymous make it synonymous with uh, what we call darbha sorry uh, darpha d a r p a meaning pride self esteem we say in the six enemies which we have in our physical frame namely kama krodha moha lobha mada and matsarya even the jealousy even envy e n v y come come out of our egoism so mada and matsarya mada is insolence i n s o l e n c e and then so self esteem pride and so on putting on airs we say in english so then so we have to flood we have to clear our waters in our flooding mind by intellect so shastra thasya shastra naam of all the sciences we are referring to all traditions here scriptures uh, the smritis dharma shastras uh, and so on upanishads we can say so uh, all shastra naam again pancharatra also so shastra uh, thasya na buddhi purva paplavah so our mind is uh, rather polluted we can say polluted by uh, all this um, knowledge all this knowledge unless there is an understand there a perfect understand so it it is not preceded by buddhi purva by the intellect when it is preceded by the intellect we have perfect understanding when when we don't uh, use our uh, intellect then there is also another word called in sanskrit matihi matihi application of our brain when we don't apply our brain to this ideas then there will be there will be only a flood of knowledge and it will be tur turbid waters turbulent waters turbid waters and turbulent waters so we won't understand what is what then again what what is the advice in the quotation acharthavya anyhow we have to follow acharthavya is a compulsory uh, noun so we have to follow where is here in this world is here means in this context namely in this situation namely pancharatra study application by practical procedure and then you have and what would we, what would we do when we don't apply our intellect we become ignorant so agnyanath you have here agnyanath because of our ignorance paramparya kramam vina suppose my ancestors are not also knowledgeable then what should i do how can i help myself it is very difficult at least uh, yamanacharya and other particular acharyas preceptors have good parampara tradition they have latent impressions of their ancestors 
and uh, therefore if my mains m a n e s my predecessors have not studied pancharatra tradition what shall i do we have to follow without even application of intellect we have to follow paramparya kramam vina we don't have the regular pattern of our tradition in our family but still we have to follow how to follow that is the crux of the matter we will read the further lines askhalita paramparya pratyabhijnaneshu sthaneshu so we have to find out uh, again when we don't have ancestry perfect ancestry then we have to recognize that there are some traditions which have no dilly dally askalita so they they don't fall from the wrong path they don't fall down from the wrong path askalita paramparya the tradition pratyabhijnaneshu recognition sthaneshu in the places situations in the context where we identify then how to identify again by of course practice by practice as keshavdas swami knows scoop diving if i don't know diving in the water if you don't know swim, i don't know to swim in the water what should i do <laughs> jump into the water that's all struggle and learn by trainees and trainers to swim and to dive so it's very so you have to plunge into the subject that's all nothing else can be done so sthane shu now we have to be careful Uh, we must have careful observation paridrishyamana we have to consider all aspects all around the text paridrishyamana pari is around so drishyamana um, seeing looking at so paridrishyamana then pramana what is the authority here which authority is better which authority is best is the best So pramana, then again go into the root of the pramana, mula ni, or wo wo t s plural. So we have to delve deep into the roots of the authority. We have to compare and contrast, find out the best. So mula ni. Then, as you read the theory. we must also understand its practical implications so aachara parampara grihita niche now there is a little difference between the theory and the practice but at the same time each tradition may differ a little from another tradition and uh, as i told you earlier pancharatra with vaikhanasa and then um, within pancharatra there are so many subdivisions uh, then you uh, observe practical applications of each tradition aachara parampara look at the practical application aachara aachara meaning behavior good behavior is called aachara we need not say sadachara sadachara nirnaya is another book so the aachara parampara grihitan so whatever ideas contained in the pancharatra tradition must be analyzed to understand that they are also in tune with or applicable to the practical procedures aachari and it is and their tradition of then karmani the actions we must observe you must observe actions also movement of uh, hands you can even say eyes 
So karmani na matraya api. Not only that, but also parihap, parihapyan, parihapyan. Whatever should be a positive word is in, in the bracket, negative word is in the uh, outside the bracket. Han parihapyani meaning what to avoid. You, you must understand what to avoid and what to accept, what to uh, receive. And paribhavyani uh, meaning uh, emotionally get attached to the tradition and then understand the good things. Nacha, not again. Tat, virud, sorry, what are do's and don'ts? And among the don'ts, please remember Tat Viruddhani, you must uh, uh, leave out uh, opposed, opposed things, opposed ideas. Tat Viruddhani. Upadaya, upadeyani iti uttam bhavati. So you remember the letter na in, in, uh, in the beginning. So nacha tad viruddhani upadeyani. Upadeyani, it should not be accepted. Na upadeyani, add na there. So na upadeyani, they cannot be received when they are opposed to the basic ideas. So bhavati is. So they are to be so there are avoidable um, traditions, avoidable meanings, avoidable practical actions. There are opp opposite actions which are to be rejected. And uh, you find now, now there is another Samhita quotation. See Paushkara, Paushkare. Paushkara Samhita is another uh, source. Moolam, we say. So, see Parukkare, so Vedanta Deshika consolidates, takes into account all the uh, traditions and establishes the Pancharatra tradition as the most perfect. Otherwise, we will not accept Vedanta Deshika. You put it in more positive terms, we will accept the Vedanta Deshika only when there is a pragmatic view, holistic presentation, considering all the different angles of traditions. Now he takes the support from Paushkara Samhita, Sri Paushkare, Cha, and in Sri Paushkara Samhita. So Samhita Samhita is a name given to a book because it is al almost like a scripture. It is congruent to scripture. It is exactly similar to scripture. So, Adhikari Nirupana Adhyay. Now, you have another uh, uh, branch, division. So, who is the rightful, apparent heir to understand and practice Pancharatra tradition? So, Adhikari Nirupana Adhyaya. In the chapter, Adhyaya, Adhyaya is study actually, S-T-U-D-Y. Therefore, every chapter we are studying and therefore we say first chapter, second chapter, third chapter. So, Prathama Adhyaya. There are of course subdivisions also in poetry and prose. Uh, so, Adhyaya in the chapter, Nirupana, proof, Chapter of proof. Proof of what? Adhikari, a person of rights. One who has got liberty to go through these traditions. So there is there are there are some certain rules prescribed. Even here, for example, in our case, practical case, if you are interested to hear me, then I must tell you. If I am interested in telling you, you must hear me. If both have no interest, then uh, there's no possibility of any session. So you, you have a right to hear because you are qualified. 
I'm not 100%, but I'm qualified a little, at least a little, to put across the ideas to you. Therefore, uh, I have a right to guide you. You have a right to be guided. Both are very important. Shishya Adhikari, uh, Guruho Adhikari Tvam. The teacher must have a right. The teacher must be qualified. There, there it's called qualification. In your case, it is called right, R-I-G-H-T. Adhikari Nirvupana Adhyayi. So who are eligible to go through this tradition and understand, practice, practice and so on. Pratinayata Adhikari Vishayatva Abhiprayana Eva Siddhanta Betaha Tatu Avantara Betaha Cha Darshita. Now one small example before going to the meaning of this expression, namely, uh, Keshav Das Swami and the uh, and Gopal Swami would know that uh, kramam, puja kramam, the procedure of uh, the regular procedure of uh, aradhanam, puja is there. And uh, according to our convenience, we make it brief. So uh, books are there to tell us Instead of, say, for example, spending one hour, we spend 15 minutes. So we are, we are abridging, we are making it brief, and the whole process. That is because, the, because of the difference in between us, namely Adhikari. So there are Pratiniyata Adhikari. In the previous session, we were telling uh, you, we were discussing that uh, morning food we take after worshipping and Lord and after offering the food. I also said that the evening food items prepared for the supper also must be offered to God. There is no doubt about it. But there is no Thiruvaradhanam puja done again second time at home. I underline the word at home. I don't know uh, the people, whether people rarely do this uh, uh, second time Thiruvaradhanam at home. Whereas in temple, it is compulsory, it is mandatory, it is uh, unavoidable. In the temple, Pancharatra tradition, then you have to do second time puja in the evening. So that is what we call Pratiniyata Adhikari Vishayatva. So a priest in the temple, willy nilly, W I L L Y N N I L L Y, willy nilly, have has to perform the evening Thiruvaradhanam. Perhaps the evening meaning a little night, dark time. So Pratiniyata Adhikari Adhikari Vishayatvam. So we understand that there are fixed rules for certain uh, people who have rights to do and there are people who have got some concession. That means they have got some relaxation from the rules. And for example, householders like us will do only one-time puja, OTP, one-time puja. And therefore, there is Siddhanta Veda. Because there is a difference in conclusion. What is good for us? What is good for the priests of the temple? Can we avoid both? Uh, can we have common rule? No. Again, Tadavanta Veda. Again, uh, somebody was saying, I think last week, I do this, I don't do this, I do this, I don't do this. They, they have. So, Bedascha Darshita. In Paushkara Samhita, in Sri Paushkara Samhita, we add Sri because it is auspicious, uh, authoritative, connected with Mahalakshmi, the goddess of fortune. And, of course, Sri Hi Shreyaha Kaha. While we studied them, um, Stotaratanam of Yamunacharya, 
Why I bring it to your mind is uh, we are talking about Yamanacharya also here. Because Yamanacharya's tradition is very great. And therefore, we have to study his books. And therefore, when we studied the book uh, uh, Svatharatnam, Shriya uh, Shri Hi Kaha, who is the prosperity or wealth of the goddess of wealth? So the answer was very simple. So Mahavishnu. Sriman Narayana is the wealth of the goddess of wealth. Shriya Shri Hi. You have a very beautiful equivalent from Prabandham. Whether Yamanacharya preceded Prabandham or I think Yamanacharya must have come later. So Thiruvukkum Thiru. Thiruvukkum Thiru we always say. Amarva said Thiruvukkum Thiru. Meaning Shri Shriya Shri Hi. So here, what I want to say, Shri Parvkar Samhita, in this Shri Parvkar Samhita, whenever we say Venu Gopal and Swami, we cannot say Venu Gopal and Swami. It says Shri Venu Gopal, Shri Keshavadas. My name has contains itself, uh, the name itself contains Shri. So Shri Shri Narayana. So Shri Thiru Narayana. Uh, Shri Shri. And whenever they refer to any Jiya, they add three times, Shri, Shri, Shri. So any preceptor in the mat is added with three, especially Chinna Narayana Jiyar or any Jiyar, Shri, Shri, Shri. So one Shri is enough, but the three Shri, three Shri are more, giving more respect. That's all. Honorable, more honorable, most honorable. We say in English also, it when you are, when you address a judge in a court, uh, my lord, we say, my lord. And I think they are slowly giving up the practice and say, sir, today. Sir is of course English way of uh, talking. So we have to find out in Sanskrit, Mahodaya, Mahabhaga, Boho, Mahashaya, um, Bhavan. So, uh, uh, they are going to in practice now. Instead of my, they are not going to address the judges anymore like my lord. So it's, it's a very uh, honorific title. Honorific title. So in this Pavushkara Samhita, you find that based upon the people who have rights to study and practice this tradition, there are divisions in uh, conclusion there are differences in conclusion and distinction in the subdivisions of those uh, conclusions. So, yatha, as. Now, the whole uh, set of verses here till the end, iti, are found in Pauskara Samhita. That we must... Uh, so, elaborately, Vedanta Deshika deals with uh, Pauskara Samhita Pramanam, the authority of the book called the Pauskara Samhita. So, Kartam Yatre Navai Yatre Chaturatmyam Upadsate Krama Agataihi Sa Sanyabhihi Brahmanaihi Agamam Tutas. So, what is Pancharatra? Pancharatra is Defined as so by the duty bound people who are attached to God. Kartavyatena means duty bound. You cannot avoid this duty. You cannot have a dereliction of duty. You cannot say, I, I refuse to learn. No. It is bound and duty. It is applicable compulsorily to our life. So, kartavyatvena. Why? Truly. Why mean truly? That is, you cannot means matter, you cannot uh, 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 take the wrong traditions. So, yatra chaturatmyam upasate. I think I must understand deeply the word chaturatmyam. Chaturatmyam means four uh, Souls, four souls. 
I think it doesn't refer to Chatura meaning clever. So Chatura Prim Upasate, since we have no explanation, commentary for this Pancharata Raksha, you know, we have to ask our elders to understand more. Uh, let us keep that word as our, what we call technical term, a jargon, so which is not understood very easily. So you can say that uh, um, Lord Shiman Narayana is in the four forms, in especially Vyuha, Sankarsana, Aniruddha, Pradyamna, and Vasudeva. Then it may refer to Chaturatmyam. This is only my wild guess. So, Upasyate. So, when we want to worship these four souls, of course, rolled into one as Paravasudeva. So, what should be done? So, Pancharatra Agamam is Tat Dat, last word, Tat Dat, Agamam, the tradition, the temple tradition, namely Pancharatra Agamam. So, Brahmanehi, by the spiritual people, uh, Swasanyabhi, with their own intelligence. Samnya here means intelligence. Samnya means signal. Samnya means uh, what you call a secret uh, way of communication. And Samnya meaning name. So, Swasanyabhi, uh, bihi, that means by their own intelligence. Krama Agataihi, having come in the right tradition. Agatehi having come, Krama in the discipline, in the order, in the right order. Chaturatmya may mean the four uh, mentioned before. Right. Um, Chaturatmya means the four ways. Uh, that's what I was saying, uh, these four gods figures. Because each one uh, represents uh, uh, creation, sustenance, um, um, the destruction, what we call Lyam, um, and overall yeah, Mantra Siddhanta. Okay. So again, so the Panchalatra tradition involves both uh, uh, theoretical and practical applications. Then, uh, so uh, a, a Brahmin in the sense yeah, twice born in the sense has uh, the duty to uh, follow the tradition. Vidhi Siddhanta Samyamcha Tatpurvam Atha Pauskara. Pauskara seems to be a name of a sage who is addressed so, He Pauskara, O Pauskara. And Pushkara is uh, what we call a place in India, we call it Pushkar. Pushkara means lotus. Pushkaram is lotus. So that which is uh, in the water, with the Pushkarams are in water, that is lotuses are in water, is called Pushkarini. So a man belonging to a place called the Pushkar is called the Pauskar. This is our deduce the meaning. He must be a sage of great understanding. So, Atha then, Pauskara, O Pauskara, Tatpurvam, so earlier uh, to that, earlier to Pancharatra tradition, understand, uh, traditions understanding. So, Siddhanta Samyam Vidhi. What is the name of the Siddhanta? Samyam. Samyam is named here. So Siddhanta Samyam is. So which Siddhanta has got what name? So Vidhi, please understand. No. K-N-O-W. Then, so Nana Vyuha Samyam Cha Murti Dvadashatam Hitat. I think I'm a little right in continuing a meaning Chaturatmyam. So Nana Vyuha Samyam. Nana different, of course, not many, many, only four. So, Nana Vyuha Sametam. Vyuha. Vyuha in Sanskrit means arrangement, and it may be the arrangement of an army. Uh, 
army array ar ar ray can be also called fuha but i think we are referring to the second rupam form namely from the one para then vyuha so nana vyuha samitam at any time lord shiman narayana is always attached to all the forms all the forms at at the same time simultaneously he is in all forms that we must understand para vyasudeva in vaikuntham paramapadanatha and vyuha four forms vibhava myriad forms m y r i a myriad forms a variety of forms and endless incarnations vibhava antaryami in our in our mind ஜினேஷன் வி கேன் ஹாவ் எனி எனி ஃபார்ம் அண்ட் தென் லாஸ்ட்லி அர்ச்சா யூ ஹாவ் நாட் நாட் ஓன்லி ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் எயிட் திவ்ய தேச கஷேத்ரா சங் பை ஆழ்வார் Mangala Shasana was done by Alvars, the rather uh, best wishes, greetings conveyed by Alvars, 12 Alvars. And then, yeah, Antaryami is the third, fourth one. Fifth one is Ancha. Fifth one is Antaryami is our uh, mind's imagination. And uh, Archa is a temple figure. It's also what we call Aprakrta form. So, Aprakrta means supernatural form. and uh, this uh, in the uh, apart from 108 divya deshas divya kshetras um, sanctified by the alvars more sanctified by the alvars we have got uh, acharya abhimanu kshetras great uh, preceptors have visited some temples and therefore they are also considered very important so we have got a, a, a large variety of forms and uh, that is called uh you can say uh, here nana vyuha samayatam cha murti dwadashakam chi tat so when you take the murti then you have for each name of the lord which we use practically every day three times keshava namaha starting with our friend keshava so keshava namaha we go up to ட்வெல்த் நேம் தாமோதராயணம் தாமோதராயணம் ஸோ ஹியர்வாதசகம் மூர்த்தி மூர்த்தி துவாதசகம் மூர்த்தி இஸ் ட்வெல் ஃபோல் த ஃபார்ம் இஸ் ட்வெல் ஃபோல் ஹீ தஸ் ஸோ லெட் அஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தி நேம்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி வியூ ஹவ் ஃபார்ம் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ தி ட்வெல் நேம்ஸ் தா மூர்த்தி அந்தர யுத்தம் மூர்த்தியந்தரயுத்தம் பிராதுர்பாவகணம் ஹீதர் ஸோ அகெயின் 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 த மூர்த்தி மூர்த்தி இஸ் டேஞ்சிபிள் ஃபிகர் இன் த டெம்பிள் வி கேன் டச் இட் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் கே நாட் டச் இட் பட் த ப்ரீஸ் கேன் டச் இட் ஸோ மூர்த்தி மீனிங் எ சாலிட் டேஞ்சிபிள் ஃபிகர் டச்சபிள் ஃபிகர் ஸோ மூர்த்தி அந்தரயுத்தம் Murti Antara. So another, uh, another variety of uh, figures are there. Uh, so joining, so uh, join them, combine them here also. And Pradur Bhava Ganam Hitayat, which is called appearances, sudden appearances and sudden uh, uh, disappearances. For example, you can even say, the avatara incarnation as lord lakshmi narasimha he is an avirbhav he is an a sudden appearance and sudden disappearance whereas the rama krishna these very highly known uh, incarnations are long enough to uh, understand their uh, incidents in their life and therefore uh, Uh, rama lived even after sita's exit 
uh, by uh, 10,000 years. 10,000 years. But years, what years, we will not know. Whether it is human year or uh, Brahma year. Creator's year. We do not know, but we have some, uh, at least uh, some uh, calculation. Um, Lord Krishna is, is said to have uh, lived for 12,000 years. Again, underline years, we do not know what, what, what is the uh, um, expanse of the year, a single year. So, Pradur Bhava Ganam, Ganam group, it's also a group. And the Pradur Bhava is appearance. And especially, even Mahalakshmi, goddess of fortune, appears because she goes back earlier uh, to the Vaikuntam abode, the headquarters, before, uh, I mean, of course, there is a, there's also an opinion that he, she, he, she is never separated from the Lord. And uh, practically speaking, we say Sita has gone earlier back. And uh, uh, I don't know, we don't know about Rukmini in Krishna Avatara. We neither know about all other incarnations. So generally speaking, uh, the Lord Mahavishnu is always associated with Mahalakshmi. And therefore, Pradur Bhava Ganam Hitat. So add to the group, so plus, so add plus the Pradur Bhava appearances. For example, Kapila Avatara of Lord Mahavishnu, Dhanvantri Avatara of Mahavishnu. Uh, we say we have um, Dattatraya Avatara of Mahavishnu, uh, uh, Hamsa Avatara of Mahavishnu, Hayagriva Avatara of Mahavishnu. All these are Pradur Bhavas, you can see. Because they, can, they are not actually uh, thought, of, thought of again and again by of people like us and then so we don't refer to them often. Hamsa Avatara, uh, Hayagriva Avatara. So as soon as the purpose is over, the Avatara ends there. The incarnation comes to a close. So again, so again the, the Pradur Bhava appearances, Pradur Bhava Antara. There are another group of Pradur Bhava, Yutam associated. Uh, dhritam Khrit Padma Purvake. So all of us must hold in our heart Dhritam. Dhritam is being held. So Khrit Padma Purvake in our lotus heart. Our heart is like a lotus bud, uh, as you know. Oh, in, in the uh, topsy turvy portion. As soon as uh, it fades, the lotus fades in the evening, it uh, hangs down its head uh, in, the, um, in the bottom. Therefore, our heart is like that, in that shape. So that is Hrit Padma Purvake. Uh, in, we must think of uh, the, these forms in our heart earlier to the study of Pancharatra tradition. So we must know the names of all the forms, especially uh, Chaturatmyam, then uh, Nana Vyuham, then Murti Dvajashakam, then uh, Murti Antara Yutam, Pradur Bhava Ganam, Pradur Bhava Antara Yutam. All this must be born in mind, B O R N E in the mind uh, when we study the. Uh, before we study the text. Then Lakshadi, Shankha, Chakra, Akhya, Garutmya, Sat, uh, sorry, uh, Dikhi Ishwari. Let me read it again. Um, Sat Dikhi Ishwari. So Lakshmya, Lakshmiya Adi. So add Mahalakshmi, Adi, etc. So along with Mahalakshmi, she is part and parcel of Mahavishnu and therefore we cannot uh, exclude her. 
ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮ್ಯಾ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮ್ಯಾ ಆದಿ ಶಂಖ ನಾವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಲಿ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ದ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕೌಸ್ತುಭಂ ಶ್ರೀವತ್ಸಂ ವನಮಾಲ ವೈಜಯಂತಿ ಮಾಲ ಸೊ ಎಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ಶಂಖಂ ಶಂಖಂ ಕಾಂಚ್ ಚಕ್ರಂ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ವಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ವೀಲ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಹೆಚ್ ಇ ಎಲ್ ವೀಲ್ ಸೊ ವೀಲ್ ಸೊ ಶಂಖಂ ಚಕ್ರ ಚಕ್ರ ಆಖ್ಯ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಗಾಡ್ ಸುದರ್ಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಚಕ್ರಂ ಶಂಖಂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಪಾಂಚಜನ್ಯ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ಡ್ they must be recalled to our mind then garu garutmya garutmya is garuda the kite k i t e the vehicle the bird so sadigishwara take into consideration also the eight directions and their lords and their guardians ಇಂದ್ರ ವರುಣ ಕುಬೇರ ಯಮ ನೈಋತಿ ಅಗ್ನಿ ವಾಯು ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಏಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಏಟ್ ಗಾರ್ಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ದಿಗ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ದಿಕ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಗಾರ್ಡಿಯನ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾ ಗಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಸ ದಿಗ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ G U A R D S and G G O D S also quarter gods and then saganaihi so don't leave their retinue namely 33 crores of gods are there now we mentioned only eight gods here so take the the, the other uh, armies also of gods saganaihi then uh, astra nishthaihi cha so there are people holding the weapons and they are always concentrating on weapons in the sense of missiles missiles arrows uh, you can call you can take it as what you call vishwaksena vishwaksena is the chief of the army staff the protector for the lord so astra nishthaihi there are people who are ready to take care of the god that is because of the devotion the devotion they are always uh, by devotion they have they are interested in taking care of god's uh, welfare he doesn't need it but he doesn't need them but uh, uh, our our uh, interest in taking care of the uh, aprakrita idols at home for example vigraha vigraha we say a, a, a metal figure Uh, we consider him uh, as god and uh, keep it in our room puja room and then uh, we we worship it we honor it we respect it uh, and uh, we don't do anything wrong with them so astra nitaihi tad vidhi kamalobhava nay i think uh, pauskara should be another name of uh, lord brahma creator otherwise or another person the listener is addressed here kamalodbhava i don't think nobody else came out of the lotus though we see goddess of fortune on the lotus goddess of education saraswati on the lotus i think we have, we have not seen parvati on lotus but we see lakshmi and saraswati on lotuses they did not come out of lotuses whereas kamalobhava is the source the the fetus was the lotus for brahma the creator so kamalobhava hey o creator hey kamalobhava tad vidhi please understand so please know meaning that you please teach others the uh, brahma kamalobhava always knows and uh, sometimes he forgets also why he forgets he has got insolence pride ahankara and he gives boons to the people who perform penance 
and especially to the demons and create trouble for all other gods including mahavishnu and therefore <laughs> you can say he forgets he forgets so kamala bhava has to remember all these names so allow you add names starting with uh, uh, vyuha nana vyuha then uh, the pradurbhavagana pradurbhavantaragana and then uh, the direction the quarter gods lakshmi the weapons like coin uh, conch and uh, the wheel the bird carrier garuda uh, again all other gods and those who are interested in taking welfare of the lord uh, starting from vishwaksena vishwaksena is the army chief now this is the duty of the creator then mantra siddhanta sanyancha shastram sarva phalapradam vina it is a murti chatushkena yatra anyat upachari so now we may understand uh, uh, tantra siddhanta samyam meaning practical application will be in understanding and knowing remembering the names of the gods involved and mantra siddhanta samyam then we will understand the powerful words names of powerful words for example the ashtakshara mantra with eight syllables is called ashtaksharam ashtaksharam is the name eight syllable the spell dwayam there are two sentences all of you know that there are so dwayam is called when i say charama shloka ha then you know the 18th chapter verse sarva dharman parichay so a short explanation of the mantra so shri mantra we you know with the three words and then uh, ashtakshara mantra and dwadashakshara mantra shada shadakshara mantra so many uh, so panchakshara mantra for advaitins so these are all mantras have got names samyam samya is there a code a code name is there so you don't need any further explanation when you know this namely when i say ashtakshara mantra you know what are those eight syllables then so mantrena mantra siddhanta samyancha so understand the signs along with the, the names of the mantra siddhanta whether it is panchratra vaikhanasa again under panchratra what are the divisions subdivisions what are the names for example just now we saw uh, adhikari uh niyat niyat adhikari vishayatvam that what we saw so that means the name of the adhyaya so adhikari nirupana adhyayam the chapter which tells us who has got the right so there that is the that is the name that is the name of the chapter also we must remember so vinar murti chatushkena so without these four murtis uh as keshavdas swami i think suggested in the middle uh, we can also take uh, except uh, uh, i think uh, either antaryami or archa we have we can take all the four rupas four forms para para vyuha vibhava three para vyuha vibhava three fourth one can be either archa or antaryami we are not quite sure of antaryami because Uh, your antaryami is not known by me my antaryami cannot be known by you so uh, again uh, unfortunately a mad person mentally retarded person cannot have uh, antaryami i don't know he is there he is there antaryami is there he is not able to recognize and we are also not able to recognize very easily whether the god is in our heart or not Uh, there is no negative uh, um, uh, thought that he is not here but uh, he is in the 
atom of every, every part of our body. Therefore, we cannot deny his existence. And therefore, so I can take either these purtis or those purtis. So, uktam mina murti chatushkena yatra anyatu upachari. If uh, something else is worshipped, other than these four, then there will be no sarva palapadam. All fruits will not accrue to us. A C C R U E. So let, let, it is in positive term. Fortunately, the book has got past positive sentence. So let us take the positive way. So uh, a science will be this Pantaratra Shastram will be Sarva Palapradam. This Pantaratra science will be highly fruitful for all, caters to the needs of all, if provided. Both conditions are satisfied, namely, you know the names of gods, you know the names of mantras, and uh, we cannot do it without these four figures. If it is something else, then it is negative. Ramanu Jadaya Patram Jnana Vairagya Bhushanam Shri Madhveng Katanatharyam Bande Vedanta Deshikam Kavitarki Kasimhaya Kalyana Gunashalini Shri Mate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Shri Rundrutu Pul Tiruvengada Mudayan Parundra Chonna Paramoyul Urundrutane Amayado Tarani Ilvarvarke Vane Rapo Malavum Varve Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om